Hello Capricorn, this is your June forecast. The month starts off with a full moon on the 2nd of June in Sagittarius and this is happening in your 12th house. So wherever we've got the full moon, we've obviously got the sun opposite to it. So there's going to be a lot of activity for you this month, Capricorns, regarding your health, your work, your time out, your relaxing, your spiritual side. And this full moon is setting the tone here in this 12th house relatively close to Saturn, although not conjunct to it, shining a light on, are you getting enough rest? Are you getting enough quiet time? Against all that busyness where you're busy and your mind's going and a lot's happening, here this full moon is shining a light and saying, Capricorns, wouldn't it be nice to go into nature, to meditate, to eat a very relaxed meal, to have a bath with candles, aromatherapy oils, just doing something nurturing and soothing for yourself. It's shining a light as well on your past, things that have been hidden, things maybe that you haven't wanted to look at are open for inspection. Somebody from the past or a situation can come back from the past and you have a new insight on it, a new understanding about something that you really hadn't been able to come to terms with until now. And for the first six days of the month, we've got lovely Venus in your house of relationships, Capricorns. So this could bring a new relationship to you, a nice experience with an existing relationship. It's also a lovely time to meet new people, to meet somebody nice, could be a business partnership, relationship situation. And it's also a good time for bringing peace and harmony into your relationships and for doing something nice for somebody who is important to you, for bringing some romance into your relationships. Because after all, we don't have to be in an intimate relationship with someone to do something romantic, to do something uplifting for them. And that's what this Venus brings to you and you to others. Now, on June the 12th, we've got Mercury planet ruling communications, technology and transportation going direct. And it's happening here in your sixth house of health and work and service to others. Now, Mercury for the first two weeks of the month, it's been retrograde since May the 18th. and still retrograde for the first couple of weeks of this month. So this is a really good time to reevaluate your physical health, how you're taking care of yourself, what needs to change. Again, the rest and the relaxation and the good quality sleep is important. Here as well, what are you doing in your work day to reassess your work, what you're doing, how much time is going into it, how much gratification you're getting from it, and also whether you can start to make more of a contribution in your work area, to feel as though what you're doing in your work is gratifying. So as far as work is concerned and interviews and jobs, the second two weeks of the month are going to be much better for you once that Mercury retrograde has gone into direct motion. It should be much easier to move forward with what you're wanting in your work area. Now on June the 15th, we have got Saturn, your ruler, going retrograde for three months until September the 18th into your 11th house. And so Capricorns, it's asking you, it's, it's a little checkup for those three months. Any loose ends connected with any friendships? Any friends that need to really be completed? A relationship? Are there also any groups that you're affiliated with? Does that need to be cleared up or a new structure put in place? And also a final check on what are your dreams and your wishes? And are the things you're doing on a daily basis in alignment with what it is that you want for yourself and also for the world? Looking at that bigger picture. And then in September 18th, it moves back into the 12th house. And I'll be talking more about that, of course, in September for you. And then on June the 16th, we've got a lovely, upbeat Gemini new moon 
happening in this house of health and work and service to others and also animals little especially small animals dogs and cats and so this is new beginnings uh, a new job possibility new possibility for new regime for your health for feeling well maybe if you're needing some help with your health somebody new coming in or a new idea that's really helpful to something you've been working with or dealing with but this is generally new opportunities with Mars and the Sun in that sixth house as well for much of this month it's a really good time for putting energy into your physical well-being but also into your mental and emotional well-being that's where the month starts and moves towards this physical well-being and also how you're utilizing your time and your energy on the 22nd of the month things change a little sorry I've got to backtrack that mercury retrograde it doesn't half do me in when I'm doing videos with this when I'm talking about it on the 6th of the month Venus went into your eighth house joining Jupiter and Venus in the 8th can be a very central placement, need I say more, if you want to go more deeply into a relationship, be it sexually or on the heart level, this would give you the opportunity to do it. Venus and Jupiter coming together exactly uh, for the last three days of this month, this could bring you some good fortune with a grant, with some sponsorship, with an investment, with a partnership financially. It could be even an inheritance or some good news connected with money for you. And let's not forget that all month we've got this glorious trine between Uranus and Jupiter happening. All month between you for you, your fourth and your eighth houses. So there could be a sudden move of residence, of country, there could be a sudden windfall, a sudden happening related to family or home. But with it being a trine, it's usually a good experience, something that could be fun, that could be uplifting, that could be some very nice news. I'd like to remind you that we are in the middle, or at the beginning, shall I say, of some very powerful eclipses. This began on March 20th with that eclipse in Pisces, total solar eclipse, more powerful we haven't seen since 1662. And between now and 2020, we are escalating into some huge changes happening both personally and globally. And my seminar on June 20th, harnessing the power of these eclipses, I hope that you will join me. Thank you for listening. Happy June. Bye for now.